Hey, Christina here. Welcome to my crystal art series. Today I'll be sharing the story behind the piece, Flow in Focus. Let's go. So this is basically my mood board and things that inspired me when looking into the moonstone. I thought of a butterfly because of its shine reflection on the stone. Inside it almost looked like the shimmering effect from a butterfly wing. I looked at fish scales because of that same feeling, but also the way the colors were reflecting. It almost had an ocean vibe, as if we were looking into the water and all the colors were just crystallized. Everything was very metallic-y, I guess you could say and it has like a dusty kind of effect where it's sheen and I really wanted to capture that effect because that's the moonstone that I remember from the past of seeing some other stones like that so I stuck with that kind of idea and I thought about the water as well because the texture that I saw within moonstone it has a flow kind of feel when you're looking at the stone it's as if you are in the water looking up at the surface and you see ripples and that's kind of the effect that I was seeing and then in terms of colors well these colors are so vibrant in the moonstone and it just reminded me of a coral reef because of all the different colors that you would see in that environment lots of fish going in and out of the coral reef and plants underwater that carry similar colors and it just made me feel as if I was in the water inside the reef and letting the water just take me and it was almost that feel and flow right so that was something that I really wanted to emphasize here and overall meaning behind this piece, the story that I had connected with this piece was for it to be focusing in on healing and controlling your emotions, grounding yourself and finding balance between masculine and feminine energy. With this sense of control, you feel rebirthed and you feel transformed as if you were a butterfly growing into its new wings breaking free from the narrow reef that you have been contained in and making you feel heavy in your emotions and unable to stabilize. So through this transformation, you feel like a fish seeking deeper awareness and finding your higher self to initiate true feelings and motives, letting the flow of the water carry you on the journey with flow. So I started this in Procreate with loose thumbnail sketches to capture the composition. I was going for more of a radial composition to mimic a butterfly's wing and the depth of a coral reef. I came in with a round brush to draw my final idea at large scale and adjust its angle for it to be visually interesting. I used the lasso tool to fill in the shapes with the base colors, using periwinkle color and magenta to capture that moonstone characteristic. More of a whimsical look and wispy feel, I used the wet acrylic brush to blend and mix the colors for a gentle flow. I came in with banana yellow in the middle to draw your eye to the middle as it was the focal point. Use the lasso tool to create interesting shapes that look like fish 
in the flow. Colored them in with an indigo color for a soft feel. And taking inspiration from that coral reef, I created the coral and the cliff-like shapes to show a colony of fish swimming through the reef. And I created shapes that mimicked rocks to ground the piece, but I kept it light so that it doesn't take away from the piece. And I used the noise brush and the splatter brush to create a bubbly effect for my inspiration to water. Using the soft brush, I wanted to add glow and effect from the moonstone to my piece to showcase that focal point, but also to showcase Moonstone's characteristics of being a very beautiful glowing stone. And for a more depth of field, I adjusted the perspective of the fish and the rocks to lead your eye in to the fish. And that was basically it for my Procreate. And I took this into Illustrator afterwards and made my canvas to a letter size paper, which is eight and a half by 11. And I created one rectangle that was four by six inches. And I copied and pasted and made two rectangle shapes. And I bumped them together so that they're side by side. And I drew a line down the middle to showcase that was going to be the middle of the card. And I made the two rectangles into one shape so that now I can see where my middle is and what my front side is and my back side is for the card. Then what I did was made two ticks, so two L-shaped ticks in each of the corners of this big rectangle for me to be able to understand where I have to cut down to size. I pretty much got my image all ready and I saved it out ready for print and I placed it on the right side of this shape because that was going to be the front of the card and any other details were pretty much put on the back of the card. And now it was ready to print. I saved this out as a PDF and I brought it to my uh, drawing board and it was ready to be scored and cut. So when I brought this to the scoring board, I used my scoring utensil, marked where that center line was, and then I flipped the artwork over so that I was able to finish that line work all the way down the page to create a seamless fold line that was going to be used from the bone tool to create that seamless fold. But we just wanted to score first and then cut it down to size. So once the scoring was complete, I brought it to my cutting board and used an X-Acto knife and a ruler and I lined up my crop marks, which are the little L shapes in each of the corners, and I cut it down to size. And that helped me get down to the small shape that the card was. And then from there, I used the bone tool to lay it on its side, fold it in half, and then run the bone tool down the side of the card so that the fold is clean. And then lastly, as a simple finish, I came up with some paper cuts of silver metallic paper for a beautiful moon, moon glow because it Moonstone has a very magical feel, a mythical feel, almost like a fantasy feel. And I really want to emphasize that. So bringing in some interesting metallic paper really brought in the extra kick to make this piece very majestic and very magical. So that's it, guys. That was basically my final piece. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And I hope that you stick around for more of my future videos. Have a great day, guys. Keep smiling. Bye.